Freedom to Marry is the campaign to win marriage nationwide. Our roadmap to victory is to win more states, end federal marriage discrimination, and grow public support nationwide. Today, Freedom to Marry is proud to launch Mayors for the Freedom to Marry, along with the U.S. Conference of Mayors. I'm here today supporting Freedom to Marry with 80 other mayors from 25 different states. Together, we will help to highlight the injustice <coughs> and discrimination caused by the denial of marriage. Because if we truly believe in family values, then we should value all our families. Uh, my fellow mayors understand that welcoming committed gay couples to the rights and responsibility of marriage isn't just the right thing to do, it is also the smart thing to do for the diverse, dynamic, forward-looking cities that we are all working to build. And I encourage more mayors to join us because throughout American history, it has been the cities that have led the march to freedom. And I believe that the cities of America can do that again with marriage equality. Some of you may know that I didn't always support the right to marry. Uh, but like many people, my position has evolved. Several years ago, I believed that civil unions uh, were fair. The irony is, I held this mistaken view, even though my oldest daughter, Lisa, is a lesbian. But I was wrong. Fairness means people giving people the same rights and freedoms as everybody else. There's no such thing as fair enough. It's either fair or it's not. On Monday, my life partner and I celebrated 21 years together. We have a 35-year-old son who was 16 and living on the streets of Houston when he came to our home because he had been thrown out of his family. We have two adopted daughters who are now 16 and 21 that have, we adopted after they spent five years in foster care in the state of Texas. We have had to navigate insurance challenges and custody challenges. One simple change would have made a tremendous difference in the lives of my family and truly the lives of millions of Americans. You know, it was nearly eight years ago that my city was the first large city in the country to marry same-sex couples. Back then, it was a huge deal, huge. I'm here to tell you that marriage for gay couples has made my city of Boston a much better place to live. All of us mayors here urge our Congress to pass the Respect for Marriage Act, repeal DOMA, to help fully recognize our country's promise of fairness for all. It's the right thing and the American thing to do. As I stand here today, a bill that would extend marriage to the loving, committed, lesbian and gay couples of my state is being considered by our state legislature. And from what I hear, we are probably about one vote short in the state Senate of making this a reality. So to all of my senators who are watching, please stand up, please do the right thing, and please pass marriage equality in Washington state. Uh, we respect everyone's right and everyone's wish, uh, and certainly in the birthplace of freedom, liberty, and democracy in the city of Philadelphia and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania uh, should do the same. I encourage all of our members of Congress to support this great effort. It's the right thing to do. It's the American thing to do. So we're having a press conference today, but the struggle begins and the fight continues. And so we've got to reach out to our Congress people. You've got to work on your governors, the state legislatures. The United States Conference of Mayors is a powerful force. We have great leaders. Mayor Villarigosa is a great president. Mayor Nutter is coming in. We appreciate you being here, Mayor Bloomberg. And let's continue to struggle because it's the right thing to do. Thank you very much. Thank you.